this build. Um, I have... <laughs> it was a real leap of faith, but I have cut off these wings here that are not long enough. Okay, I needed to actually uh, the, the the thickest of the uh, the Tamiya plot plate was not quite thick enough, so I had to get like another like a uh, a thinner and cut out and sandwich them together. So now these are actually two layers of plot plate here. Okay. Um, this now fits. Okay, so yeah, I, I, I cut off the sides, and now this, this totally fits. What I think I might do is I'm going to maybe glue this together, and then maybe get like another, like the, the thinnest plot plate, and put it, put it down here. Um, have like yet another layer. So I think this is kind of lined up. This, this is uh, kind of straight here, so I'm going to glue this together. And uh, so far, so good. Whew. All right, so <clears throat> I have glued the whole thing onto this uh, thin sheet of plastic. Man. Okay, I have I have cut off the excess you can see here. This is gone. All right, let's put this here. Hey, look, it fits. Oh my gosh, look at that. Um, I'm just gonna have to file this down to make it look straight, but I, I actually was able to correct the situation. Wow, I I can't believe it. This is great, and it looks straight more or less too. No, the part itself is just no good, but I was able to make something out of it. Okay, so, uh, it's kind of wet right here because I was cleaning off. I, I realized I didn't do any mold release agent, and this is a Revell kit, so um, better safe than sorry. I don't want to get in a position where, you know, the paint isn't sticking to the plastic, even after priming or whatever. Alright, so, um... I've got these parts here I need to cut off here, and these go into the engines. I haven't gotten around to this yet. Alright, so, um, uh, let me look at the instructions. I think this is, goes on the, yeah, this is the inside, this is the outside. And let's just do a dry fit here. I think this goes like this. Okay. And then it fits in here somehow. You know, I'm not really that clear on how this works. It doesn't... Oh, shoot. How is this supposed to go?
Huh. Okay, thanks a lot, instructions. This is... This is not really that informative at all. Um... The diffuser? Wait, hold on. Oh, I see how this goes here. Alright, so it's supposed to fit in like that. Okay. And this is supposed to fit like so. And then this goes in like 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 that. Okay. Now I understand how this is supposed to work. Well, in that case, um, what I need to do, I need to file off this these little circles here. Don't like those circles. Okay, so in theory this is supposed to fit in and make everything work here. But I don't like how this is just kind of arbitrary. Hmm. What I think I might do is just kind of hold it there, glue it, and then just take this off. Maybe that's the best way to go. Because I don't want to, you know, have this clear part attached to this. This needs to be painted um, steel color or whatever it's supposed to be. Hmm. Okay. Well, I need to sand off these these little circular things because it's you're only getting them on one side. All right. I'm going to cement these pieces into place. I've kind of sanded off with uh, like what, like 180 grit or something like that. So those little circles are mostly gone. Uh, I think if I just prime it with some 500 grit um, uh, Mr. Surfacer or something like that, it should probably totally disappear. So. Let me stick these like so. There we go. I've already kind of put the piece into here. Now, what I want to do is, um, I need my tweezers. There. Okay, so. Alright, what I'm going to do is just apply some glue on the edges here. That's where they're going to touch the walls. There. And put this, stick it all the way in the hole. This just doesn't go in any further, I suppose, does it? No? Alright. So these little pieces kind of stick out. I just now need to make sure that these are kind of lined up. I don't want them to be crooked. Okay. There. I guess it's more or less clean. Uh, you know, squarely into into place. <clears throat> so, there. Okay. Put this into place like so. There. And. This notch goes on there like so. Okay. Make sure I. Yeah, okay. Glue. 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 And glue. Okay, we're gonna put this into place all the way down. There. And 
that's not straight. Let's straighten it out a little bit. Jeez. Uh, I guess it's okay. Uh, this needs to be nudged. Alright, I, I think that looks pretty good. So yeah, now's the time to do some last minute adjustments if necessary. There. Before this totally dries up. All right, so I have this really neat, I, I ordered these from Hong Kong, like these little power couplers here, okay, and I, I kind of filed down these little metal pegs a little bit to make it slide in a little bit more easily, but uh, yeah, this is, this is power here. So what I want to do is, instead of having things going through the, the base, you know, I want to, I want to hold the base, I want to have the same base that this thing comes with, okay, um, because... I could possibly, although this isn't even the right size here, I'd have to get like some sort of a rod to put through here. I'm not going to bother with that. I'm going to keep the base the way it is, but what I want to do is cut a hole and have this little uh, power socket. And the little lines I just drew here actually are no good. So I'm just going to just get an eraser here. I just drew this on with a Gundam marker. Okay, well, I didn't really get it off all the way, but whatever. Okay, so... Uh, I want to have this lined up... ...better. There. There. Okay. Just draw lines. Okay. There. And, and it didn't draw lines. Crap. There. Okay. Switch over. Use my right hand here. Get this side. Okay. And where's my pen cap? No, oh, I put it on. There we go. All right. So, what I need to do is use my router and uh, drill a hole through here and uh, cut it out so that I can have this come through and uh, plug into here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put this dust catcher box underneath the part I'm working on. And uh, get this going. speed this up. Okay, so I don't want to get 
too close to the the lines that I just drew. Because I want to have some room to work with, you know? There. Oops. Gonna kind of fudge with this socket to see how far I've gotten here. And I got a lot more to go here. Definitely got a lot more to go. Okay, hold on. Oh crap, where did I put it? Oh, it fell on the floor here. Jeez. Okay, uh, I'm just going to just fudge around with this until I get it to, to fit kind of snugly. Okay. Okay, I got this. Here we go. I see this here. This is a pretty nice, pretty solid fit. Okay. So what I'm going to do is have this plug come through this hole here, okay, and yeah, I just have it kind of set like that. I'll have to tape this over while I'm, while I'm painting it, but yeah, that's, that's how I want this to work, and that way I can just easily detach the, the power if I feel like taking it off the stand. It's not going to be, you know, a, a permanently, um, you know, bolted to the, uh, to a stand. So hopefully that'll make transporting this, uh, more easy. If I, you know, whenever I come to the point in my life where I have to move again. But, uh, that is a pretty nice fit, I think. I'm happy with how that, how, how that turned out. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I think all I need to do is put some CA glue, I think, along there. And then, um, yeah. Let's go ahead and do that now, I suppose. <clears throat> Again, it's not a total perfect fit, so I might have to put some, some putty in there. Let's put this along the bottom here. There. There. And then let's take a look at it from the other side. That looks good. That looks good. Nice. Okay, and then I will. I'm gonna reinforce that with um, probably, probably. Where is it? Here, I found it. This is the triangular. Yeah, triangular. Triangular plastic beams by Tamiya. So I'm gonna cut this around. The, the, the hole here, and uh, kind of, you know, uh, stick it to the to the um, the the perimeter of this thing to kind of set it in place. Okay, CA glue. I got my triangular pieces all cut up. Okay, and. 
we go. That uh, should be plenty reinforced for now. And actually, I am going to uh, put some putty around here to make it even more solid. But uh, there we go. All right, so I'll take this out. I just uh, taped this off here with masking tape to protect this the socket from any damage while I'm painting this kit. So it's a few hours later, and uh, I just came back to look at this piece just to see how it looked. And I surprised myself. It actually looks better than I anticipated. You know, like when you're a kid, you, you draw like a picture, for example, of like a like like a dragon skeleton playing like a double neck guitar, and then you're like, oh man, this picture's like the best picture ever. It's so cool. And you go show your mom, and you're like, hey mom, check out my awesome picture. Isn't that great? And your mom's like, yeah, that's that's uh, that's that's nice, honey. You know, you know, get away from me, you know, I love you more from a distance, and then and you're like, yeah, I know, it's a great picture, yeah, let me tell you about it, and then, so, like, you put the picture down, and then you come back to it, and then you look at it again, you're like, oh my gosh, this picture sucks, and uh, you're, you, you crumple it up, and you throw it away, and you're like, what was I thinking, that's like the stupidest thing ever, and, um, and you feel dumb, uh, so I was thinking, you know, maybe it would be like the same case with this, and, uh, so I, I took another look at it, and actually it's nice. Go figure. I just, you know, I, I never thought I was, I was capable of, of, of making something like this and making it look nice. And it kind of makes me wish I had maybe captured some of it on camera. Um, but, you know, I just had, like, zero, um, uh, confidence that it was going to turn out well. Um, uh, especially, like, when I, when I snipped off the... That each of these wings on the uh, on either side, I was like, kind of like, oh crap, I'm screwing this up, aren't I? And it turns out it's not so bad. It's not so bad after all. So, yay! All right, what I'm doing now is I'm using Mr. Dissolved Putty because it's easy and quick. Instead of diluting the Tommy up putty and just building this stuff up in layers. So I had already put the epoxy putty, stretched it through this uh, little trench, like, where, you know, between these, uh, these, these, these pieces here. So it doesn't have to be pretty, because I'm going to go over this again with acetone. So, just going through here. Yeah, yeah, hold on here. Alright. Um, something I need to do also is to go along. here see it's kind of just sucking up inside there so I'm gonna have to go f over this a few times yeah it's just kind of capillary action is sucking it up inside there you know I might have to um, use the thicker putty after all yeah, okay, I'm not going to waste my time doing that. I can go over this. There. Just fill in this gap here. Uh, there. 
Oh yeah, something that's really kind of unfortunate <laughs> is that, uh, I'll take this out. You got this here, there's like this lip, and I don't have it on this side here, unfortunately. Now, the look here tabs were lined up fine. Um, I don't know if this is just a manufacturing flaw or I did something wrong, but it's really not that noticeable, I guess, unless I point that out to people. So I am just going to proceed. And I gotta paint along where the parting line is here. Paint the putty into that that crack there, and let that suck up inside there. Okay, and I'll go ahead and fill this in some here here as well. I, th I think what I'm going to do is just file this down, but there we go. And got some crap here, so well, it's the end of April. And the uh, Star Wars Rogue One is on video. I, maybe I'd, I'd like to rent that sometime. Maybe I'll do that during Golden Week. It's coming up the first week of May. Watch that my, at my in-laws' place. They have a Blu-ray player. Um, I haven't bothered to purchase it, though, for myself. I, actually, I still haven't bothered to get The Force Awakens. Um, I'm still holding my breath to see where they go in the second movie. If it uh, continues down the path of being annoying, social justice and all that kind of crap, then uh, I might just throw up, throw up my hands and say give up. I give up on Star Wars. Um, I did like Rogue One though. So, still think that Force Awakens was way better than the prequels, but that doesn't really say much. So, I will stick to that. Alright, so... There's not much else to do with this stuff for now until I, I glue the, the, the top and bottom halves together. But, yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to use the thicker... the, the, the thicker stuff in here. Oh, sorry, you can't see that. I need to work on my my camera angles better. Uh, what I need to have is like a camera, you know, right in front of me. But that kind of hinders my my ability to to do it properly with the camera in my face. You know, it gets in the way and such. Yeah, okay, well, I'm wasting enough time on here. Okay, so, I got my tummy a putty. I'm just applying this crap straight out of the tube here. So, I'm just sticking it here. And just mashing it directly into there. And 
gonna see if I can scrape this off. There. Okay. Okay, and I'm just going to use the uh, the acetone to make this pretty. But there, it's more or less looking okay. So yeah, this is again. I've said this before, but filling in seams and this kind of stuff is really not the kind of stuff I'm interested in doing. Uh, it's not one of my more favorite aspects of the hobby. So a lot of times I'll just leave a model sit for months because I don't feel like doing this. So it just depends on how excited I am about building the model, I guess. I might speed that up. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, in order to do some light blocking, I'm going to use some uh, Gaia Notes Surfacer Black. This stuff stinks like hell, and I'm thinking about, uh, I'm going to maybe look into, I, I believe Mr. Uh, Mr. Hobby has a black primer. I'm going to look into that. This stuff is really nasty. Um, all, all of Gaia Notes' uh, surfacers are really stinky, but oh well, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the inside. Well, you know, the area where this uh, 